Close to a billion people around the world do not have access to energy. Energy is crucial for their well-being and their economic development. That problem can now be solved. I am Jules Krachtenhart, the CEO of the Rocky Mountain Institute. In Asia, in Africa, in Latin America, people at the bottom of the pyramid still suffer from a grave injustice of not having access to energy or being dependent on firewood collected from far away in order to heat their homes and cook their meals. People who don't have access to energy have to stop working or reading or studying at 6 o'clock at night. They struggle to cook their food or they may find themselves delivering a baby in the hospital at the light of a flashlight. But we can solve this problem of energy access through the tremendous advances that we've seen in solar and battery technology. The cost and efficiency of solar is now in a different league from where it was many years ago. Batteries are becoming more cost effective. And so a simple mini grid, an electricity system for a small village or a rural clinic, is now technically feasible and even more importantly, commercially viable. It's much cheaper to provide electricity with such a mini grid than to run out for firewood or to use a diesel generator. The transformation is happening all around the world. In India, Prime Minister Modi committed to connect every Indian village to electricity and mini grids are rolling out quickly. But also in rural as well as in urban settings in Africa, mini grids are bringing power to people who didn't have it before. In order to scale the access to clean energy for people around the world, we need to make available standardized mini grids that are much lower in cost and that are reliable, that are leveraging information technology to do the billing and that can be monitored and supported remotely. The technologies are there, we just need to assemble them, procure them at scale and deploy them. I am very confident that we are on a path to solve this crisis. The cost of the technology is definitely no longer a barrier. And we're seeing governments understand that providing their citizens access through mini-grids is a very viable solution. Imagine a world where every family has access to reliable, affordable and clean energy, benefiting their economic development, benefiting their education, benefiting their welfare. We have the technologies, we have the business models, we just need to get on with doing it.